virus infected dragon. Let's go. Use your skills. Take this guy. Ow. There it goes. Hello and welcome back to more dot hack mutation. We're picking up right where we left off. We're back in town. I'm disbanding the party. I am going to save the game and do some other things. And then we're going to invite Black Rose to our party and somebody else. And we're going to go to that area that we tried to get that damn virus core for. And we're, we're finally going to go continue the story and get further and progress and do just wonderful, amazing things. So, I'll be right back. Word list. Blooming a promised walkway. Let's work. It's protected. Who would have guessed? Uh, take the D. Take the F. Take the E's. We're running low on D's, too. We're gonna data drain a bunch of people here. We're gonna cause ourselves to get really infected. One of at least each monster we encounter in an area going forward so we have enough virus cores so we don't run into these issues anymore. They were gonna get dragged away. Wee! So much fun! The Spark Sword is in this dungeon! Yeah. Look at they got a well here, too. There is a Oh wow, there's so many places nearby. Alright, you know how it's done. I'm gonna go and fight the first portal. And then we're gonna zip zap around. That's perfect. She does not have level 20. She got level 17. What's she gonna get out of it? Brew Clash, a water attack, and uh, Gone Crock, an earth attack. Jump and strike down from head to toe. Sword slashing diagonally and then slash diagonally from the other side. Gift you six sided blade. Gee, thanks. You sure it's okay to take such a nice item? Yeah, I cheated into the system. And let's big sword. All right, uh, I'm gonna walk over to the fountain, but it may activate that portal. Let's go around this way. There we go. Into the portal. The spring has 
is a We're gonna throw in our twin blades. Grandpa, 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 yes! Was it a golden axe you dropped? Or was it a silver axe? It was neither. What? Neither one? That's correct. Hmm. Oh. Let's see, then is it this? Hopefully. See you later, alligator. After a while, a crocodile. All right. This item is way better than before. Sweet. Magatsu, which I want to say is what I currently have equipped. No, I have blades of bond. Yeah, we're definitely not trading those in, though. Okay, so they're level 21. They're a higher level, but they don't have life drain, so they don't get equipped. Not to mention my stats will drop a lot, too. So the item has to get even better. Guess I could also be using it for armor equipment. Look at this guy! Gorgeous creature. Oh yeah. Virus core F. Of course it is. Get out of here. First aid. Heal himself. Alright. That one gets to stay and you get to see a two portal fight in the field. But now... I'm gonna go clear the field out, and then we're gonna head to the dungeon. So, uh, we'll be right back. Alright. Last portal, here we go. Peace. Uh, Use my weekend to decrease its accuracy, but it did not work. So, I am going to try it again. I'm going to die. Item. Healing. Hit. So glad that healing hit before the attack did. This thing is so fast and it hits for a lot. Has like no cooldown whatsoever. It just gets rapid shots. Alright. So all we encountered was the creatures that you saw. A few of those red dragons, quite a bit of those like mantis warrior looking ladies, and then uh, some of the red wizards. I was not able to data drain a red wizard just because it would seem as though you can't. You, like you get its health real low and it just dies. There's no like data break thing. So I have a dark spell now with the new uh, gloves that I got. I've just been using that, taking them out one shot, which is really great. Uh, Fairy's Orb. It's a big place. Lots of things to encounter. I'm gonna have them first aid and kill me. So I don't want to spend an all rep. Alright, let's go down this way first. Killed him though. We did it. He's got 25 health left. And now a data drain him. And we get a virus core F. Really great, because we need those. We're all out now. A fool. First aid. Drinks are now the next higher steps when it comes to healing potions. And with 
with our health is almost reaching a thousand, recovery drinks will be very, very great to have. Skill, let me go ahead and meet the Temple Knight. And I'm gonna go ahead and have you guys use your skills. Use my own skills to weaken the other Temple Knight. I kinda wanna sit back and play healer. Move so fast too that I'm thinking Calamity! it would be better to be healer with potions than it would be with spells. As quickly as they attack. Calamity! And both me and Black Rose have life drain. Healing everyone up. <clears throat> oh, I'm not looking forward to this next room with the two portals. The moment that I step forward, it's gonna go. <laughs> it's a big guy. I have skills that can take it out too, yeah. I think my thunder skill will do it. It won't work, it's not an element. It's fire. Fire is the element that's, yeah, that's me. Data to do, so I don't feel the need to do it again. Um, I'm just gonna have y'all first aid. Beautiful. is always welcome. I just imagine this with like a VR headset, like how their characters play the game, and all this like static flashing that's going on. Killer. That's, that's what's killing him. Which is what part of the backstory was, was that there was a killer who was out there causing people's screens to flash and having them go into epileptic seizures. Causing people to go into comas or even dying. Like if you read 
the news articles that they post on here. That's something that they talk about. And then on the board, they mention it too. And we don't know who's behind all this uh, infection in the game. So maybe it's the same person. So when I cast the spell to it, uh, slows him down so they have time to catch up to him. And beat up that nerd. Yeah. Storatives. The Lovers. Ooh, flashing lights and sounds. Stone Storm. Eggman, go down to the second floor. Use our... Arizor. I know we're gonna encounter another dragon in here somewhere. I found this out too, that we all have the same strength and ability. <laughs> and that's it, nothing else. Nobody has any elemental resistance on them anymore. Take that golden egg, let's go open this portal. Let's fight them, use your skills. Some of you have fire skills. Ooh, get him out of here. Let you all do the healing. Leveled. Uh, oh, Black Rose leveled. So far, Rachel's level, Black Rose is leveled. I might have leveled. Not 100% sure, but we're getting some good experience points for doing this. Golden egg. And a golden yeah. Egg. <laughs> yeah. so much less and they recover SP so much quicker than I would. Ooh, treasures. On to the next. Empty room, anything over here? A golden egg. There's the golden egg. Break a pot. Recovery drink. Spray. All right. What do we got? Oh, Iron Ball Titan. This is a different one. Just a 
regular attack him because I want to data drain him. Yeah, let's get that data drain going. Taking your data. Draining it. Getting the Magatetsu, which I don't know what that is. It's Magatetsu. Sounds like a weapon. It is. It's actually the blades that we just got from the uh, pond. Now we have two of them. Which is cool. We have uh, Natsumi and um, good old Moonstone. Good old what's his face. So one of them can get that. Depending on who we take with us next. Oh, I'll just heal myself. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's keep it moving. Let's get down to the third basement level. Get this sword. I've been liking this dungeon, though. The monsters we've encountered, we've gotten some pretty cool armor and equipment. Not quite at our level, it's, it's lower than that. Got some holy sap. Need a lot more than that. Um, I'm gonna assume that the sword is in the statue area, but there's this big empty. Yeah, and I see little particle effects at that door. Okay, so. We're not going to be able to get the statue. Something's going to happen. We're going to get a little cutscene here. I thought it was going to be in this room. They're going to give it to us in the hallway. Oh, virus infected dragon. Let's go. Use your skills. Take this guy out. He just downed somebody with something. I don't know what that was. Poison paralyzed, speed down. That didn't do anything. Uh, restoratives maybe? There it goes. Yeah, come on. Come on. Item, healing potion, self, item, 
Healing potion, myself again, item. Healing potion, black rose, item. Healing potion, black rose again, uh, item. Healing potion, Rachel, item. Healing potion, Rachel, a second time. Take this thing out, you guys. Skill, I'm not gonna data train him anymore, but I am gonna weaken him. Uh, I think it's back to being a fire dragon again. Yeah, oh, I gotta heal myself. Healing potion, me. Healing potion, me. Everyone's still using screws. Get out of here. There we go. Woo! That was a tough one. We got Sparky Sword. Well, we got the item we were looking for. Let's go meet Wiseman. Wiseman is probably still there. Let's give this to him. Probably still in that same dungeon. It's gonna take us to the dungeon? No, it's gonna take us back to the city. Back to the root town. Huh? Ball monk? It is ball monk. Talking to Leos. Do you understand? Give this to. Hmm. <sighs> what are they up to? All right. Yeah, definitely save, save now. It does seem like a thing we need to go do. Save the game. So from level 46 up to level 47, we leveled at least once. 40 hours of gameplay so far. We'll start. Uh, I think I'm just gonna keep rocking Black Rose and Rachel, and we're gonna go back to see Wiseman. Wordless, Dazzling Sages, Arctic. Warp here, since we've already been here and cleared the uh, field in the dungeon. I'm hoping it'll take us right to him. I don't think it will. It's not. It's going to make me go through the dungeon again. So for the sake of time, how about instead we just skip ahead and go right to where Wiseman's at? Sounds like a great idea, right? <laughs> I think so. Spark Sword. It is indeed the Spark Sword. Woo! Isn't it? Okay, now give us the information like you promised. I must ask you first. Who are you? My name's Ron. What do you Ron. mean by that? We gave you the item and now you're complaining? I will honor my promise. It's just... It was a protected area. I'm intrigued. And the only way to get this item is by overriding data. Ugh! You deliberately chose a protected area to test us! That is so not cool! Yeah! Well, I guess it seems that way. If it's all right, will you tell me? God, explain the situation. I see. This world is indeed. This is all very interesting. I didn't know Orca of the Azure Sea was in that condition. All right. If that's the case, then I will help you. I apologize for testing you. You now have Wise Man's member address. We get Spike Spiegel as a party member, you guys. I will send you the data that I have on the Epitaph of Twilight by mail. Ooh. And take this. We get the Spark Sword. What? Your tale was much more interesting than the item. We traded information for information. <laughs> Just come up to him, hey, look, I'm the guy with the data drain bracelet. This is what's happening. 
Now I don't have to go to that level anymore. And there we have it. We have uh, completed the wise man journey. He's gonna send us the information on what we know about the epitaph of Twilight. I'm actually gonna go run and see what it says, find out more about it. Let's log out. New information on the board. It's time to get our whole new sets of quests. Let's get them and then I'll end the video. More news. Oh, I probably should have started the video like this. Maybe instead what I'll do, instead of reading the board and checking the news, we'll just see what wise man. Yeah, that's a lot of crap. That's going to be another video. We're not going to go to everyone's mail because everyone seems to have something to say. So we'll just talk, see what Wiseman sent us. And then the next video, we'll go through every mail and news article and board entry, get our new sets of quests, and continue this story. Hopefully have this beat for too much longer so I can move on to this three outbreak. Wiseman. The promised stanza in the epitaph. Unknown where the cursed waves was born. After the stars doth cross the heavens, the sky in the east doth darken, and air doth fill with morning. From the chosen land beyond the forest, a sign of the wave comes. Riding the wake is scaife, the shadow of death, to drown all that stands. Mirage of deceit, Enos, betrayed all with the flawed image and did aid the wave. By the power of Magus, a drop from the wave doth reach the heavens and creates a new wave. With the wave, Fidgil, the power to tell the dark future. Hope darkens, sadness and despair rules. Gore schemes when swallowed by the cursed wave. Maka seduces with the sweet trap. Wave reaches the pinnacle, and escape none can. Trevor still remains with more. Cruelty to punish and destroy. And with the true blunt or turbulent destruction. After the wave, only a void remains. And from the deep within the void arrives Corbinic. Perhaps the wave is just a beginning as well. There is a high probability that the monsters you encountered were Scathe and Enos. However, no more assumptions should be made at this time. You should contact the legendary hacker, Elba. She is based in the net slum. East, north, south. East, north, south, west, north gates to paradise will open. It is a spell to reach net slum. May the grace of twilight dragon be with you. May the grace of the twilight dragon be with you. East, north, south, west, north gates to paradise will open. So we have to go to net slum to go speak to Helba. That has a lot of monsters, huh? Like through GU, because I completed GU when I was younger. I recognize the names of the uh, creatures, because they they play a part in that game as well, which I'm not going to spoil. So the fact that we have actually only seen... I want to say we've seen three of them. We saw Scathe. Scathe was in the first game. And then Enos shows up after we beat Scathe. We fought Enos. I was stuck on him for a while. Magus, I want to say, was the kind of uh, stained glass that we fought. But maybe it was also Enos as well. Who knows? But yeah, that is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next
next game of Dot Hack Mutation. Goodbye.